Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? It's High School Mac. And today I have a Windows 7 slash Android application review. It's called Mobile Robo. Uh, this application, as you can see right here, is an all-in-one Android smartphone management tool. And if you've been using Android, you know that these things are desperately needed. Because Android doesn't ship with an iTunes type manager for the phone. So this is like iTunes for your Android in a way, but it has many more implemented features. So you're going to direct your browser to morbo.com and you're just going to go download it and you can pick from these different links. Once it downloads, run this install file. It's very easy and fast and you should have no problems with that. And then once you have that, let's go and open up the actual application. And you're going to notice right away it's got a really good looking interface. And you can tell just by looking at it that it's a very well built application. So first thing you'll notice right here is you can connect either USB or via Wi-Fi. So you can have multiple devices connected just like you could on iTunes. So it's also a nice feature of this application. I'm going to use USB. It is recommended. So there are, you can of course use Wi-Fi, but for this I will be using USB. So I'm just going to go and plug that into my phone. And mine has already been connected, so it's going to connect automatically, which is a really nice feature. And you're just going to see that. It'll come right up. And it's going to connect. So the first time you plug in your phone, it might connect right away, or it might have to it might not connect, and then it'll automatically download the drivers for you and connect right up. So very simple. Now you're going to notice right here on this left side, it's got a screen view of your phone. And this is a nice little feature because it allows you to see what's on your phone, just kind of as a side thing. And you can, from these options, you can take screenshots of it, which is very nice if you're uh, doing development and you want these high quality shots. It's just an easy way to snap them off. You plug in your computer and then they're right on your computer, no transferring, nothing. So we're also able to go full screen and full screen it does actually you have it does refresh it is a little bit laggy but as you can see it's not too bad and the quality looks really good right here so really like that and then of course you can see it shows the model of your phone what version of Android you're running your battery and mine's way down there as you can see and then you also have your storage for your phone your SD and it displays that nicely so you can easily see what's being used and then your internal storage. You're going to notice right here you have a backup and restore option and this is one of the nicest features about this whole application. If you're an Android user and you're new, you've got a new Android phone, you're switching from an old one to a new one, you're always just slightly worried about getting all your stuff transferred and whatnot, especially if you're newer to Android. It's not as easy and seamless as it would be with iTunes and an iPhone. But with this application you can back up all your data and say you switch phones, you get a new phone, you have to restore your phone for some reason if you're doing a lot of rooting. This thing will back up all your apps, your contacts, your pictures, photos, videos, whatever you want. Text messages, call logs, just everything. And you can do backups and restore just right from here on this main page. And you can also do like more targeted restores and backups through your other options up here and I'll get into that a little bit later so nice feature right there now I'm gonna go into one of my very favorite features about this application which is the file manager and this file manager is really fine-tuned and offers a lot of very good looking browsing through your SD card and for me that's one of the biggest turnoffs to Android is how messy the SD card seems to get and I tend to like the cleaner looking displays and wallpapers and just more of a minimal thing so when I see my messy SD card right now it kind of makes my stomach cringe but with this application I can go through and really just clean it out on my desktop and it makes it a lot easier than having to go through it on my phone so let's say I'm going through to delete stuff and I'm not sure if I delete something it's gonna mess it up if I delete this GLU folder I don't know what it does so I'm gonna just download it to my PC first be safe and then I can delete it and see if it's really needed or not and I actually don't even know what this is oh it's for a game so yeah 
it's an easy way to go through your files. Also, if you're doing rooting stuff, it's really easy to manage all your files right from your computer. You're on your web browser on your computer. You're downloading some ROMs, mods for your ROM, whatever else. You can easily just put it right on here with the upload feature. Select a file or a folder. Put it right on your SD card right where you want. So you can see that. Also, on these folders on the side, it offers you a few different views of the folders. So you can go through these different views. And even over here, you can do titles. So you can see it as like a folder display, like little icons. I personally like the list view the best. So very well-rounded file manager and offers you um, a lot of options for this. So moving on, I'm going to show you guys the contacts, messages, apps, images, music, and videos portion of this. And you can access all of this up, is up here too. So I'll just go through um, data right here is going to be contacts, message manager, call log. And this will load up right away and it will pick up all your contacts, what you have, your groups and your favorites and whatnot. You can go through and organize it and, and obviously I have my names and numbers blurred out. But let's just say I pick one and if I have lots of information down for it, this one I don't, but I can see all the information I have and right from here I can just click on the name and send them a message. So nice way to view your contacts and then also gives you the options to add contacts, delete contacts from here and you can import them and export them and back up and restore. So this is kind of where I was talking about on the targeted, say you just want to back up your contacts or restore contacts and not your whole phone. So the contact manager is a very nice feature. I'm going to move on to message manager which is another one of my favorite things. We can see all messages. Obviously I have these names blurred out too. We can see right here we have a nice interface to view all our text messages and over here on the right we can have we have the bubble style text messaging right here and I can send them right off from here and they send right to the phone and and if I am to receive a text message it'll pop right up as a notification in the bottom right corner if I'm not in the Moborbo app otherwise it'll just pop up in my message manager here so very easy to send and receive messages while you're doing computer work and I think that's always a nice feature you can have your phone somewhere else especially if you're connected via Wi-Fi and then you can just type with your keyboard continue doing your computer work and still messaging and doing other work at the same time and then obviously the call log and that's pretty self-explanatory next we have applications and applications is a nice way that you can manage your apps on your phone and then up here you can of course select your user apps and you can view all the apps you have installed on your phone. So this is pretty cool right here. You can see it's got the permissions for this specific application, which is always kind of interesting to see what all these applications are using on your phone and whatnot. So right here, we can also see that we can ins uninstall applications right from here. So that's kind of nice if you're doing a lot of cleaning up and maintenance on your phone from your computer. And it is pretty simplified to do that. Uh, we're going to move on to iTunes. Well, Tunes as it says and this is basically the iTunes portion for your Android phone I don't have any music on this PC because I have all my music on my Mac desktop but the music files you have will show up right here and you can easily sort them by artist operation obviously name and you can sync them right from here to your device so very easy way to sync your music and right here you're gonna notice your ringtones so this is gonna show you all your ringtones on your phone and you can edit these and you can also add in new ones. See it from right here. We can add in new ringtones. So that's nice if you find some ringtones online that you like that don't come with your phone. You can just sync them right here and then they'll be ready to go on your phone. So cool feature there. And we move on to images. Right away you're going to notice in images they have wallpaper sent. And I thought this was a really interesting feature here because it's a way for you to add all your wallpapers onto your phone or download new ones right from here and of course you have your standard camera roll where you can export your photos, back them up and of course you can also import other photos that you want on there. And then of course your videos on your phone to export, view or import other videos that you would like. So very easy to do there. So overall Mobile Robo is a very well developed application. It's got a very clean looking interface and 
anyone who uses this application can manage their way through it with very little difficulty because it is very easy to use. It's as simple as plugging your phone in or connecting via Wi-Fi. Uh, the application offers some really cool features such as messaging, file managers, easy music management, and tons more. I think it's extremely useful and if you have an Android phone and are running Windows 7 at the time, I think you really need to go download it. I do hope they bring it to Mac OS X because I am a native Mac user so I would really like to be able to run this on my iMac. So I just gotta say great job to the developers and to anyone watching this video I will post a link in the description uh, so you can go download it and try it yourself. I highly recommend it. If you have any questions don't be afraid to message me or leave a comment and as always guys Rate, comment, like, and subscribe. See ya.